Hello there and a very happy Friday. So I went out during the week to town before the snow and the rain started coming down so I was kind of lucky in that regard. Um, I wanted to just do a quick video of exploring Dublin city and I wanted to just basically talk about it and just think about it and blurt out a lot of different ideas about what it means for a city to be beautiful and whether the stereotypical views of Dublin which you know can be positive and negative and negative and positive and negative and negative and negative and um, whether those stereotypical views are actually fair looking at the past the future and the present so obviously it's a fairly big year for Dublin this year being the 100th anniversary of the 1916 Easter Rising so there's a lot of events happening in the city this year but for this video I'm going to take a step back and look at the city from a more objective point of view now obviously there's a lot of beauty in the city in terms of its architecture and also just aesthetically some of it is actually just feckin class when you think about it I mean on the one hand a lot of these buildings are beautiful to look at but are some of these buildings just remnants of colonial and are some of these buildings just symbols of altruistic crushing capitalism and globalization? Or is globalization actually beautiful? Is it a sign of leaving behind a xenophobic past to embrace a more caring, ethical and diverse future? I mean, there's a lot of different questions and there's a lot of different views on what beauty means. For me personally, setting aside the past and the future and comparing a city to its past or its potential future, what really matters to me about a city in the present is the city as it is in the present. Whether a place is beautiful or not, good or not, appreciable or not, it all depends on what we have right now. And while Dublin City might have remnants of its colonial past and symbols of cultural imperialism, I don't think it's fair to compare the worst or the most negatively perceived of the present to the most glamorised and romanticised elements of the past, which let's be honest is exactly what a lot of people do when they say the world isn't the same as it used to be. But I am going to leave the present for a few moments. Let's have a look at a couple of pictures of Dublin in 1961. Now these are some pretty rare photos which I came across in an article the other day. They were taken by an American photographer Charles W. Cushman. Uh, he travelled the world for three decades taking snaps of lots of different places. What's special about his images of Dublin in the 60s is that they are in colour. Now a lot of the images and footage you would have seen of Dublin in the mid 20th century would be in black and white. So seeing Dublin in colour in 1961 you can't help but be affected by them and feel nostalgic even if you weren't there or like me you were born over three decades later. There's definitely beauty in these pictures, there's no doubting that. I mean just to look at they're fucking great. But does that make it a beautiful place? Does what you see of a place make it beautiful is on the surface what counts? On the one hand there was probably a lot less litter back then so in that sense it would have been a nicer place to live in so that was definitely one of the pluses but I think in order to assess whether a city or a place in a given time was beautiful or not or is beautiful or not um, I think you have to dig a little bit deeper so while these images naturally provoke all the nostalgic feels are we really looking through the rabbit hole into a simpler quieter and easier time and by the rabbit hole I mean the internet it seems logical to say yeah of course I mean like things were so much simpler and quieter and easier back then but think about this there's no denying also the fact that racism sexism homophobia and xenophobia were far worse 55 years ago it was a city in which very sadly this this and this were far far more prominent this really raises a lot of questions i think because you look at this image and you think that looks much more beautiful than maybe this yet when you assess the facts of the time it does raise a lot of questions. What is beauty? Can you just look at a world as it is on the surface and say, oh, that's fucking great looking. Can you look at a world on the surface and assess whether it's good or bad or not? This is again just raising different issues and different questions. I'm not having a go at the past or the present. I think there is definitely a lot of things that are bad about the past and there's a lot of bad things about the present that we are aware of and also things that are bad about the present that perhaps we will only become aware of in the decades to come. While the world and Dublin inclusive have become more complicated places, leaving behind the mythical version of the Emerald Isle for the globalised multicultural Ireland that we live in today, I think it's fair to say that it's in embracing a more complex future that really shows the beauty of a place. Again, this is just my own personal view. For me personally, I think it's the ability of a city to say, I was here, now I'm different, but I'm still here, I'm still changing, but I'll still remain here regardless. I think that that is part of what makes a city beautiful. And 100 years from now, when our country celebrates the 200th anniversary of the 1916 Rising, what will the story of this coming century be? Perhaps like the last 100 years, it'll be a story of embracing modernity, change, a new image and acceptance. Maybe they'll judge us also on how we dealt with some of the issues that we have yet to properly deal with. Homelessness, corruption and the continuous re-election of crappy politicians. But I think with all that said, we should still be able to look back and say that even in times when acceptance was less, there's still beauty to be seen, lessons to be learned and inspiration to be sought. Now putting aside the past and the future again, here is the heart of Dublin City as it is in 2016, in the present. And when you stop and think about it, you could say it's actually pretty beautiful. Go and party and have yourself a great weekend.